Good morning. <clears throat> Oops. Sorry, Jamesy. Okay, good morning, good morning. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. I'm trying to wake up. But the dogs have all been out and they have been fed. And I made uh, myself one cup of coffee and two cup of coffee. Because I was pretty sure that this one was going to be done before this uh, call was over. I, um, I am part of a course, a group, and it's live each week for the for four, for four weeks. It started yesterday. So whoever's watching, good morning to you. Um, you know, let me know who's here in the chat. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate you being here. Um, my youngest daughter, who is thirty-one, so she's she's not like young, young. Um, she's she's a full-fledged adult on her in her own right. <laughs> uh, she is. She has been assisting me in um, in all things business for uh, a month and a half, two months now, something like that. Uh, she has picked everything up super quick. She's going to help me going forward with um, with videos and things like that. But she's also a gamer. And she's been talking to her gamer community, and I, um, I'm super excited to start, you know, wel welcoming her friends and, and her community in as well. Uh, so if you show up and you're a gamer, um, <clears throat> I'm happy to have you. I'm the mama and the granny, and uh, while I'm not. I'm just not that coordinated to try to really, you know, play the those games. Um, they're cool, and I do watch. <clears throat> I do watch her play on occasion through Twitch. Uh, so I know some of the lingo, not a lot of it, and I admit that I'm not trying to uh, appropriate anything. <laughs> but I would like to help you because you have lives outside of gaming, but gaming has become a revenue stream for many of you. And for those that it has become a revenue stream for, I want to help you uh, take those deductions. If it hasn't quite become a revenue stream for you, guess what? You can still take the deductions. Um, so, if you have subscriptions uh, to, you know, different platforms, um, if you have, um, you know, buying the games, all that computer equipment, guess what? We can make it deductible. So if you guys and gals are still uh, or working outside of your house doing things other than um, <clears throat> gaming, then guess what? Uh, we can reduce your overall tax burden. We can reduce your income by um, by making those taking those deductions. 
and it's not hard to do. And I love to teach people how to do it. So I hope that I get the opportunity to um, further your knowledge and help you guys out and, uh, and watch you succeed because ultimately I, that's the biggest thing for me. Like that's what makes me happy is watching other people succeed. I mean, obviously <laughs> I am working to succeed at the same time. So it's more of a let's lock arms together and, um, you know, right off into the future and make lots and lots of money and have the most phenomenal life that we can possibly have. So that is my goal. So if that means um, that you get to, you know, not have to go outside the house to, to work, then great. Um, if that means that you get to travel, then great. If that means that you just want a game, uh, you know, 22 hours a day. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. My motto is to live every day as if it's your last and to love others as if it's their last. So if we can do that together, then, um, then I feel like we've been in and we are a success. If anyone has any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat. Um, anything about deductions, anything about my workbook, anything about taxes. I am happy to answer your questions. Um. So I do eBay as well as uh, digital products, accounting, taxes, bookkeeping, consulting. Uh, I have also sold on Poshmark and Macari. Uh, I had an I have an account on Etsy. I uploaded a couple of things. I never sold anything over there. Uh, let's see what else. Flea markets, yard sales. Um, I am currently getting out of one of my niches and going to a much smaller niche. I am uh, currently trying to figure out what kind of vehicle I might want as a tow vehicle, or do I do I really just want to trade in the travel trailer that I have for something like a Class A? I really don't know what the answer to those questions is at the moment. Um, I've considered, uh, I've considered getting a van where I could have like my office area inside the van. My, um, my house would be the travel trailer. That way when I leave the office, um, I would, you know, I wouldn't have that distraction. Um, I've considered, you know, putting up, uh, you know, desk and things like that inside the travel trailer. I've considered upgrading the travel trailer to a bigger travel trailer or a class A. I, I like the class A's better than the class C's because um, the floor is all the same height so i feel like it kind of gives you more room like i can move the the captain's chairs around from the driver and the passenger seat and sit right there but my ultimate goal is to um is to be 100 mobile at least for a while um i would like to move out of the country uh, so there's that so there's a lot of things that I have on the horizon that I'm working towards. Um, super curious to know what it is that you guys are working towards, what your goals are. I started out talking about a course that I'm in, and it is talking about um, money and 
setting goals and having a mindset that, you know, money's not a bad thing. And do you think it's a bad thing? Um, how do you feel about money? You know, ask yourself a question, ask yourself why, you know, do you have a particular feeling about money? Then ask why. And then when you give yourself the answer, then ask why again and do that like five to seven times. Um, and see where you can get to the root of the issue. Because most of us have a problem with um, money that comes from something that happened in our childhood, usually prior to, you know, eight, nine years old. And in order to get past whatever that is, we have to, to find it and then give and then reevaluate it from an adult perspective and let go of that past and give, give it a new frame. So we can't just let it go. We have to reframe it um, in order to, to If we just let it go, then we're we're leaving space for something else to fill in, right? So we want we want to reframe it and have a new story for that whatever that um, issue was, so that it makes it a positive instead of a negative. Wow, nobody's talking to me this morning. I'm just sitting here rambling because nobody's saying anything. I got four people watching, one thumbs up, and not a word in the chat. Nobody's saying anything on my, um, like nobody's messaging me either say, saying that I'm talking to you, but you're not talking back. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, today is Wednesday. So I have my, let's see, wait, uh, today is Wednesday. Oh, Today is the third Wednesday of the month. So that means my Facebook group uh, also gets a call from me today. So I have a call um, at, <laughs> let's see. I always get it confused. I have a call at, uh, noon with my Facebook group and then why is my picture gone? Well, so I have a, um, a call at noon with my, um, my membership, my paid membership, members and then i have a call at one uh for my facebook group members and i just updated the photo because i don't know when it actually left that makes me mad really um because that was supposed to be there on purpose. Okay, it's still on top of mine. Anyway, um, if you look at the top, of, if you go to my Facebook and you look at the top, then uh, it has all of the calls that I do. Uh, Sherry, is where is info about your membership group? Uh, one moment and I will grab that for you. So my membership group, um, it's also the, the information is also in the picture of the group that I just put up. So what it is, is it's, uh, five hours worth of calls a month. So the first Wednesday of the month at noon is a two hour call that's meant to get your bookkeeping done. Uh, the second 
third and fourth Wednesday is one hour and we talk about whatever you want to talk about. So if it's questions about bookkeeping, if it's questions about the workbook, if it's questions about taxes, if it's questions about your business, if you're trying to, to hash out, you know, a new revenue stream, it doesn't matter. Anything goes, um, but it's just uh, we we get into Zoom. We have an open discussion. Uh, last Wednesday was had a lot to do with mindset and making and trying to get our heads wrapped around, um, you know, revenue streams and and why we have issues in certain areas and things like that. So. Bobby Loves to Thrift is here. Good morning from Northeast Ohio. Good morning, Bobby from Maryland. Hi. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to, I need to grab the, do -do -do. here, get URL, copy URL. Okay, so that is, um, that is the link to the group it's $25 a month. Um, and like I said, you get five hours with me. It's still a relatively small group. Um, and yeah, we have a, we have a good time. We've had a lot of great conversations. Um, so I look forward to, to growing and seeing how things work out. I have a, I have a, another group too, that is with, um, that is with Sarah, that's Cha-Ching Chats. And that one we focus on, um, uh, bringing people in that have different revenue streams, kind of giving each other ideas, finding different resources for revenue streams. So that's, um, it's, it kind of overlaps with some of the things that I do, but it's focused like more specifically that link doesn't work. Huh? Um, well, that bite, all right, let me see what, why, why would that be? Okay, uh, Sherry, I I will send you. Oh my goodness! Like I don't know what is going on with this thing. I can't even figure out where. Well, 
Well, I guess we know what I'm going to be doing as soon as. Now I'm wondering if any if I've got problems with any other. I don't like none of this is Oh, oh, Whew. so apparently it was just a thrive cart issue. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you for, <laughs> I'm like panicking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Okay, so there's the membership. The link is working. Uh, note to self, don't panic. Give it a few minutes. Don't try and change things until you make sure that it's not the platform. <laughs> oh, wow. Melissa, good morning. Morning, Cheryl. I have a question for next year's taxes. If I sell used clothes, but I don't have the tickets anymore, how do I have to add these in my worksheet? The receipts, um, you can add them in, uh, just, just write, write a, you know, like don't go overboard with what the purchase price was. Like maybe use your average cost of goods, um, write down how many you have, um, and just kind of like add in from closet type thing, do that. And then, um, and you, you'll, you'll be okay. All right. Um, it's not something that I want people to do on a regular basis as far as things that they actually did buy for their business. But since we do have that ability um, to add things in from our closet, then, um, it's kind of, it's a little of a bit of a loophole that we can, uh, use when we absolutely have to. But now I have a question. So you sell used clothes and you're talking about next year's taxes. So you lost the receipts this year because it's only april and if you're losing receipts oh okay so that that's a different story so these clothes were purchased a long time ago in which case you um these were not purchased for your, your business. They were purchased for yourself and now you're adding them to your business, which means that you are legitimately putting, um, the items into your store from your closet. So what you are going to do is you're going to take an itemized list. You could, yes, they was, were mine, right? So you're going to take an itemized list of the things that you are adding into your closet. I mean, adding into your store from your closet. And I suggest that you do this for anything in your house that you want to get rid of. You run it through your store first. So those things, you're going to take an itemized list. You're going to assign the value of what you figure you paid for it at the time that you originally purchased it. Um, and good morning, Larry. Um, and then you're going to keep that itemized list somewhere with your bookkeeping, 
but you're going to add the total into your bookkeeping as an inventory purchase. You will be the vendor and it'll say Melissa's closet or Melissa's house, you know, um, I have a hair that's bothering me. Um, so that's how you will handle anything that you have inside of your house that you want to, um, liquidate that you didn't buy for your business, but you bought for yourself. And now you're wanting, wanting to get rid of it. So anything that's in the house that you want to get rid of, you run it through your business. Even if it's a uh, Facebook marketplace, you run it through your business and, um, and go from there. Eliana, good morning. I looked at your name and I reached up to my calendar and flipped the page because I thought I messed up. <laughs> so that's next week. Um, but good morning. <laughs> wow. We have 12 people in here at the same time. Oh my goodness. Yay. I think this is my highest number yet. And it was... Um, it was a, it was slow getting started. Uh, we're actually 26 minutes in already, and it generally don't go over 30 minutes. Uh, Sherry asks, "How does your membership group rebuild? It rebuilds a month after you join. So if you join today, you would get in on today's um, today's call." And then, um, and it will rebuild uh, a month from now. So like 516 or 517. I'm not sure if it's 30 days or 31, to be honest, but I know it's a month. And sometimes those things get a little quirky, like it's not on the 17th, like you think it might be. Um, so it could be a day before or a day after. Eliana says, LOL, my husband said the same thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We're getting the we're getting the husband in on on um, in on the business and the bookkeeping. I love explaining stuff to couples. <laughs> Larry says I did get the senior discount right for the membership. <laughs> you and the discounts, hey, I. I am absolutely fine with people asking. However, I don't have any discounts, even for seniors, because I got a head full of gray hair and I'm building my retirement. I kind of feel like I give a lot of good value that doesn't cost you any extra. Beth says, uh, good morning. Good morning, Beth. I'm sorry if you already said it, but where do I find out more about your group? Um, sure. Now that the link is actually working again and I won't, um, and I won't have a, I won't have a heart attack. Oh, Melissa that's in here right now is your sister, Eliana? Welcome, sister. Um, this is wonderful. It's like a whole family affair. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> I, um, 
my daughter, like I said, my daughter's been getting involved with my business. Um, my other daughter has her own eBay store. I had to, I had to kind of force the issue with my husband. Um, he's, he's just, yeah. Robin, good morning, Robin. Robin says hit the like button. Um, that's wonderful. Sherry says I'm paying $20 a month for chat GPT, which I feel is a bit excessive for how much I use it. Do you have an alternative suggestion for AI at a lesser cost? Um, yeah, use the free version of chat GPT. I don't pay for, um, well, I do pay for an AI, um, and chat GPT is part of it. I actually need to cancel. That's a good, good. Thank you for that. Um, I actually need to cancel my, um, membership for, uh, mid journey because I haven't been using it. Sherry says I was, but it wasn't good enough. Okay. Um, it's, I haven't found any differences. Like it isn't, the paid version has not been any better to me than the free version. The prompts that I come up with have improved and the prompts is what's the, like, if you ask the same thing to, um, one versus the other, it's really not going to, I don't think it's going to be much of a difference, but, um, there is a Google Chrome add on web chat GPT that, um, I use a lot for search engines. Like, I'm not even using 4.0. So I have, um, let me answer, let's see. Eliana says, I have a question. The UPS PO box annual payment goes under rent or expense. Um, just put it, just put it under um, office expense. Let me see, which one do I have? Do, do. I need to just go to a page of something here. Let's go to this one. So I have maxai.me. Um, hold on a second. I will drop a chat in there. I mean, I will drop a, um, so this is the one that I pay for, um, oh, heck yeah. I'm sure I'm so sure. Invite friends. Um, copy referral. Here we go. This is the one that I use. Um, I do pay for it, like I said, but I pay annually. And then, um, by paying, um, anyway, I pay annually and then I have use of all of the different ones. But the better question may be how, how you are using it. What you need it for. And then I might be able to better help you figure out which one um, would be a better option. Beth says I have, I finished our taxes on tax day and I've been afraid of accounting forever. So I'm very eager in my older age to learn and take control and therefore be more confident. I have no room for anxiety. Yes. Yes. 
high high ten <laughs> high five um so then um tags for you says what is the purpose of chat gpt <laughs> i high ten you <laughs> yeah it's awesome the purpose of chat gpt let's see there are lots of things that chat gpt is good for um for me a lot of times i use it to soften an email or a message that i need to send someone because i can be very gruff and to the point and it can come across a little um she's yelling at me kind of thing uh i use it to um I use it for social media. Like I use it to rewrite things that I have written out for social media. For example, I might say, you know, I might give it the idea. Like I have the idea and I just kind of type the idea into chat GPT and I ask it specifically to give me um, a Facebook post that will help me. I don't know. Um, A Facebook post that will help me um, attract new clients, right? So then it's going to spit it out. Um, and it's going to give me a bunch of stuff. And then I take the stuff that it gives me and I, maybe I say, okay, rewrite the second paragraph or rewrite this one sentence. Um, and it will, you know, it'll do that. So using AI, it's, um, and that's just one way, um, people use it to help them write blog posts, to help them write, um, just help you, help you write all kinds of things. Sherry says, currently I use it to write my social media captions. I've used it to help me write my strategic plan and to create a survey. Sometimes I need it more than other months. So see, there's the thing. I'm still using the free version. But my, the way, I don't think, I, I like it again, I don't think you need the paid version. Um, because I'm still using the free version. and. Um, unless I'm, even when I go through Max AI, uh, most of the time I'm still using the free version. I have ab access to the paid version. I have access to a bunch of them. Um, and I still tend to only use the free version. Um, I have access to AI powered search. Uh, summarize and chat with web pages and PDFs. Now that's what I use the Max AI for. Like I can go to YouTube and have it summarize um, what a video is about, so I can decide whether or not I want to watch it. Um, or and I can have it expand on that stuff. But for general purposes, what I do is like I, I was just saying, I go in. I write, I figure out what it is that I want to, I want to say, I type that in and then I ask it to rewrite whatever it is in the form that I'm looking for. So if it's an email to a client, if it's, um, if it's social media post, if it's, uh, maybe I want it to write a script for me to do a, a video. I mean, these are all things that I'm thinking about that I haven't necessarily done yet. Um, I have done social media with it. I have, um, I have asked it for ideas, um, for cha-ching chats was, was, a, a list was in a list. Well, not just like it is, but, um, Sarah and I went through like four or five iterations of asking chat GPT, like she did on her computer, I did on mine. And then we were sharing the list. And so we came up with a combination of one that we saw 
which was um which ended up being to Shane Chats. Um so naming a company, it, it you know, it really can help you do all kinds of things. Um what I like for it mostly right now is I have the add-on in um, Google Chrome, and I'm trying to see if I can see. Um, doo -doo. Web Chat GPT. If you search Web Chat GPT in Google Chrome add-ons, um, so anytime that I search something in Google, Web Chat GPT gives a a, a little blurb over on the side and i have loved having that because um it goes through all of the things faster than i can i don't have to go through all of the individual web pages it even gives me little um what's it called when like the oh my goodness back in the english my english class days um so it tells me which which web pages it gives a little postscript type number where which web pages it took the information from. Um, so it's been it's been great. Uh, when I was listing bras on a regular basis, I could type in um, part of the name of the bra if it was on there and or the model number for the bra so it would say vanity fair 51613 and it would tell me the actual name of the bra uh, that the company has and all the information about it like if it was underwear and padded and this and that and the other um so i was able to use that and put it directly into my listings so so yeah, for those of you who don't know, I've been a bra seller for several years now um, on eBay. But <clears throat> but yeah, I mean it's 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 very helpful. Um, I've I've quite enjoyed it. Jessica, good morning, Jessica. Jessica says I have Grammarly, but I don't pay. My daughter has it for school, and she paid for it. I also have Grammarly. Grammarly tends to piss me off. Because um, I'm I'm all for it correcting my spelling, but sometimes I just want to type the way that I talk and leave me alone. Um, I do not pay for it, so when it starts saying that you know readability and whatnot, I'm like f off, go away. I will close it down. <laughs> it's just like, ooh. Jessica says, English is my second language and I know I need it. Hey, it's my first language and I still need it. But, um, yeah, it gets a little too uppity sometimes. And I don't like that. And it gets in my way. Like, I'm trying to type something, and the little cursor thing is over top of the thing that I'm trying to write, and I can't see it. Um, Max AI did the same thing to me yesterday. Actually, it's not Max AI. It's the one that Facebook has its own now to help you rewrite posts. And that one... Like, I turned Grammarly off because it was covering up part of the words, but the but the one for Facebook was still there and it was still covering up the words. And I'm like, did I type that right? I'm trying to look around it. And I'm like, come on, I'm on a screen. It's not, that's not going to work. Um, so I ended up doing spaces in there just to, to get it to go to the next line so I could see if it was right or not, and then backspacing again. I was like, really? This is a waste of my time. Yes, these subscriptions are getting expensive. 
I agree with you. And I want you to use only the subscriptions that are benefiting you the most, even if it's mine, right? So if mine didn't benefit you, then I wouldn't want you to keep it. But um, I hope that that will never, never be the case. I am pouring coffee from my thermos into my cup. I mean, it's not, this is not a thermos. It's, it's also a cup, but it's an insulated mug. Um, ha. But yes, anyway, uh, I want you to use the, use subscriptions that benefits you the most. So like I, like I said a while ago, mid journey is not, not doing it. I mean, I'm not using it. I love playing with it but I'm not actively using it. So I need to turn it off for a while. Um, Sherry says my client pays for Canva, but when I see another place, there's a little heart thing right here and I can't see all of your post. Uh, but when I lose that client, that is one I will have to add. So I love my Canva subscription. I love my Canvas subscription. Um, so, yeah. Um, and why are you going to lose that client? Terry says, do you do prior years of taxes? I absolutely do prior years of taxes. Um, had several clients this year alone that I did uh, several years past taxes. I've got another one that, um, that I've got to do three years for. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, I love your name though. American woman thrifter. Do you also have a YouTube? Does anybody have a YouTube? If anybody's in here, we got 13 people watching right now. I am still going. It is 46, almost 47 minutes in. I almost never do this. Um, but I'm having, a, I'm having fun this morning. So, um, like tax season is over. So it's, it's, I'm, I'm good with it. Terry says it's a mess and it happens and I'm happy to help you clean it up. Okay. So, uh, you know, shoot me an email. Um, I will, I will help you understand what the process is. Um, and we can go from there. Um, So yeah, Sherry, what is it about losing? Why are you losing a client? And also, if you you can't really, if it's the client's uh, Canva, then you can't really use it for your own stuff. Because then when you lose access, then your own stuff isn't, isn't you're not going to have it anymore. Um, Tags for you says, how do I start a new year on the workbook? You download the new copy. So yeah, run back over to the, where you downloaded it from, um, or Thrive, or let's see. You probably downloaded it from Gumroad. Um, you should have an email. Check your spam if you still have it from January 16th. Um, oh, understood, Sherry. Uh, check your spam from January 16th and um, look uh, looking for an email that says access, access your course here. So do a search in your email, look for that. And then if you cannot find it, shoot me a message or an email and I will reset your password. But everyone that has bought from me um, from Gumroad got moved over. Um, Sherry says it's in my name. They just pay for it. Okay. 
So you just need to add in, um, add that into your fee for your clients, right? Excuse me. And then you, um, you don't look at it as the client is paying for it. You look at it as this is now my business expense. Okay. And then it's just part of your, it's just part of your bills. Um, like I, I pay for anything annually that I can pay for it. Cause I can't stand that stuff coming out on a monthly basis. Um, and that one's not terribly expensive either. Terry says, I need some help to get my taxes caught up. How do I get in touch with you? Uh, let's see. So. Hopefully that email will work for you. Um, once you email me, it tends to not be a problem. Because I check my spam and then once I email you back, we should, we're usually okay. Uh, tags for you says, just bought the new one this year. I didn't purchase this one from Gumroad. Oh, okay. So let me, let me re-understand your question then. So you like, how do I start a new year on the workbook? But you just bought, so did you buy it this year to redo your, to do your 2023? If so, then just go back to the same place that you got it from and uh, download one of the 2024 versions. Uh, Sherry says, I don't want to have clients going forward. Okay. Some people don't, and that's okay. So you just add it into whatever it is. You know, you just make it whatever it is your. It's part of your business expenses. So. Tax for you says yes. So I'm assuming that um, he got the 2023. He or she got the 2023. And uh, yeah, just go back in to the same very same place. So 2023 is in there. Then there's a 2024 um, that's like just for eBay. There's a 2024 that is um, for Poshmark. Um, so they're all in there together. And I'm actually going to um, consolidate everything so that... Uh, so that, you know, it doesn't matter which, which one of the workbooks you get, they're all in there together. And anybody can get any, any one of them. They're the same, right? They're the same. So each year, the, the, if there's any category updates from, um, from the IRS, then I update it. Then, um, if there's any, uh, then I, and I change the dates and then if there's any like little tweaks or whatever, I'll make the little tweaks, but everything is, is the same across each kind. The, the Poshmark one just has tools for Poshmark as well as eBay. The eBay one has tools for eBay, but the basic bookkeeping part of it is the same for all of them. Uh, Sherry says, yes, I know. I was just bemoaning the cost of these subscriptions. That's all. Watching that line item go up over the past eight years has been interesting. Yeah. Come on, thing. Get not blurry. There. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Why it keeps getting blurry. I mean, I know I move a little bit, but. Um, it shouldn't be doing that. Um, uh, yeah, you know what I've, because it's not just for business. It's also the, 
you know, the Netflix and the, the Hulu and the Paramount and the, you know, you got all those subscriptions and then you've got um, Amazon and Walmart and Sam's Club and, you know, all those subscriptions. Um, I mean, I, I don't like, I pay I'm actually paying for zero. I, I pay, I pay for Amazon. So we got Amazon prime. Um, I quit paying for Walmart. Uh, Walmart has not turned off the Paramount plus yet. So I was going to upgrade Paramount plus, um, But Walmart, where I canceled the subscription a couple months ago, they have not, they've not turned it off. They've not let it go yet from Paramount Plus, or there's a disconnect there, which was part of the reason why I left Walmart um, subscription, because I wanted to upgrade my Paramount Plus and, and I couldn't get it to do it because uh, I didn't want commercials. But now I'm not paying for Walmart or Paramount Plus, and I'm still getting it. So there's that. Um, so I'm just going to consider that a gift until that happens. I am not a big TV watcher. The only reason I watch TV is because my husband wants me to watch TV. And he, he that's like me sitting there watching the TV with him is what he wants. Um, what he wants from me to feel like we're doing something together. So I usually do that and, um, and I pick up my phone every now and then, which he doesn't like, but like I said, I'm not a TV watcher, but I, like I said, I do that for, I do that for him. Um, Sherry says, I don't watch TV, so no cable or those kinds of subscriptions. I get more than I can absorb with just $15 YouTube subscription. And I have my YouTube subscription too. I do. I love my YouTube subscription. I hate commercials with a passion. Um, but I also pay for that annually so that it, it is um, because I would rather pay one chunk of at one time and have it be less than, um, oh, I probably need to add that to my membership too, huh? You get a discount if you pay for it annually. All right. I will do that. If I don't write this stuff down, I'll never remember to go do it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's about, that's about it. Uh, I don't think I've got much more. I mean, if you guys, there's, we've got, I'm, I'm calling this at an hour. Uh, because I still have two more calls that I need to do today and for my members. So uh, if you are part of my membership group, we have a call today that will go live inside the membership group. Um, if you are um, a member, then we will have a call before that, uh, that for an hour. So my members, I will see you at noon Eastern. Um, and my Facebook group members, I will see you at one Eastern. Sherry says, sometimes it would be great to compare these subscriptions. Wise stamp is another one I use faith faithfully. I've never heard of wise stamp. So let me write that down so I can look that up. Wise stamp. Bobby says, thanks, Cheryl. Have a great day. You too. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope to see, um, I hope to see those of you either, uh, at 11, if you're a paid member and I mean, 11 at noon, if you're a paid member and at one, if you are a group member.
And if you're not a group member, come on. I'll see you then. All right. Everyone have a fantastic day. Um, and I will see you shortly. Bye.